So today we are going to be making caramel popcorn. Yummy. It smells so good. It is so good. You've got to try it. So I'm actually cooking a popcorn right here just with a little bit of oil in this frying pan and I'm making sure to move it a little bit so that it doesn't burn on the bottom. But it's a really good way to cook it and just make sure to not take the lid off too soon because it'll pop on you. <laughs> so that's this step and it's super easy. You don't have to have a popcorn maker. All you need to have are like this little popping corn. And I just put a little bit of oil in the bottom of it and I'm just moving it, making sure it's not gonna um, burn. All right, so this recipe for the caramel it calls for one cup of brown sugar, one whole stick of butter, which is one half cup, um, one can of sweetened condensed milk, and then one cup of caro syrup. But I'm actually going to try agave nectar to see if that works out. And this is just a little bit of a better alternative. Alright, so here is the, the cup of brown sugar, and then next I'm going to take the sweetened condensed milk and just, really we're just going to take all ingredients and mix them together except for the popcorn. And the popcorn takes three bags of microwave pop popcorn, or we just took a big bowl and estimated and did the, the frying pan type style popcorn. All right, so here's the agave nectar stuff, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that in. And I actually really like, I was about to say, I really like the sweetened condensed milk even by itself. It's so yummy, especially with apples, if you've ever just dipped it in apples. I know that's horribly, dipped apples. Uh, yeah, horribly unhealthy, but it tastes so good. I'm just gonna scrape this out. Alright, and then the last ingredient is just the butter, and I'm just going to go ahead and stick that in there. And then turn it on to a medium-low heat. So I'm just going to put it on here. Alright, so now we're just mixing it together. And I think if I chop up the butter, it might go a little bit quicker. But this is, it's just melting, these little chunks are the brown sugar, and it's looking so <coughs> yummy. Alright, so, once you get it to a, a, bol a boil on medium-low heat, let it boil for two minutes while stirring it. And once that's up, you pour it over your caramel, and you mix it together. Over your popcorn. Or yes, you pour it over your popcorn. If you'll notice, there's little black things in there, and that's actually because I just used the same pot to fry the popcorn as I did with the to make the caramel. So there's little like popcorn kernels in there, and it's it's good. Oh, and the timer's up, so I'm done. Up, oh, James. With this. So I'm just gonna turn that off. And all right, James, I gotta put caramel on it now. Okay. All right. Caramel is done and ready to go on. I'm just going to pour it over the top. Oof. There's me. Did it pop something inside? I didn't break the bowl because it's glass. That would be scary. Alright. Just make sure you scrape it out really good. It'll stick to the bottom really good if you don't, if you don't stir it well enough. Alright. Mix it together. And by the way, this caramel is delicious. It is so good. I just tasted a little bit of it and I was like, whoa! That's like some of the best caramel I've ever tasted. So, very, very good. I would definitely try it.
So I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do the caramel. This is actually the first time I've ever done it. But I'm just going to I'm gonna make little popcorn balls by using this uh, cupcake pan. Make sure to spray it really good. And then I'm just going to put little spoonfuls of them in each one so there's like little individual servings. Alright, so here is the final finished result. And I'm just going to take a little bit, kind of pack it in to make these individual servings. By the way, I filtered through, I don't know if I said this or not, but I filtered through and tried to take out the, the kernels that were not popped because I did not want them in there. I hate them. <laughs> they break my teeth. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to continue filling these. Ah, they're done! And that's how they look coming out of the muffin tin. Um, and I'm just so excited. The caramel is delicious. It is so good. And these are just cute little caramel popcorn balls that you can make. So um, try it out. It's so good. Like, I... Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I mean, doesn't that look just delicious? And the caramel did thicken up a little bit. Uh-oh, what happened? They're so distracting. They like to do lots of stuff while I make movies. But anyways, they're so good. Try it out. The caramel got thicker. It's not hard though. It's just like thicker so it sticks together really good. So anyways, try it out. And subscribe. And like the video. And tell me if you want to make, if you want me to make anything. So we'll see ya.